Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a turboed Mark V Golf R32. I've filmed one of these before, that was a manual car. Really do have some fond memories of filming that car. This one is a DSG car, um, but just as cool. It's running about 460 brake, huge turbo in the car, fully forged, everything like that. So it's a proper build. Uh, of course, we are joined today with Carl, the owner. I'll introduce him very shortly. We'll walk around it had the car for quite a while and done a ton to it before we go out for a spin in this 460 brake fully forged turboed r32 okay we're joined now with carl the owner mate thank you so much for well bringing this thing over from yeah. jersey to get on the channel today um everyone knows i'm a lover of a performance golf and a turboed r32 is certainly no exception it's a car which you've had a while yeah i've had it five years yeah um been turbo probably about a year and a half okay yeah yeah so, yeah so it's still a fairly recent thing yeah um and yeah running some serious power around 460 brake yeah 460 466 foot pounds of torque yeah yeah and obviously yeah. fully forged everything is all kind of good to go um but yeah we're under the engine bay we'll dive in straight under here um, and if it's all right to give us a, a bit of a walkthrough. So yeah, we've got gone fully forged, rods, pistons, uprated bearings, Mark IV crank yeah. mm -hmm. as well. Bosch 5C, 550cc injectors. Yeah. The turbo is a Pulsar 3582R. Which is it's, massive, it's, yeah, actually. It's really tight. <laughs> it's tucked away down there, but that so, is a big, big unit. Um, that's capable of a lot more than what you're running, I would guess. Yeah, yeah, it's probably it'll probably do double. Wow. So, so kind of like 859 under yeah. brake. So that that is that is serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Serious. Yeah, run a standard gearbox. Which with, gearbox have you got in it? The DQ 250. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah it's got a DSG uprated cooler. Okay. There, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Just to keep yeah. things cool under there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, extra bits, obviously. Pro Ram yeah. induction kit. Pro Ram with the four-inch math house and yeah. made by Rushworth. And then obviously, yeah, intercooler, as you said, down here. So they've done a lot of the work then for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah they've basically built the whole thing for cool. me, so. Cool. Yeah, awesome. It's a serious thing, and these, these turbos are just animals. Yeah. Absolute animals. Yeah, it's just the pure noise. It's, yeah, yeah, you that's can't it. beat it. I suppose it was a big shot going from NA to turbo. Yeah, yeah, massive. <laughs> big shot. Massive shot. Big shot. But uh, moving around though, um, we've got some nice Revo wheels on the car. These 18s, 19s? Yeah, they're, they're 18s. Yeah, 18s, yeah. nice. Some uh, familiar brakes as well, actually. <laughs> exactly the same setup as what I have on my Mark 7 Golf R. Um, so that's pretty cool. Great brakes. Yeah. I really they're, like they're them. They're superb. They're, they're really good. They're there and they will make you stop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. You've done the rears as well, I think, just discs on um, that? Yeah, so I've got the adapter to match the front disc size. Yeah. So, that's, oh, so okay. I'm running 356 mil discs on the rear. Yeah, very big. And suspension wise? Suspension on the car? is ST coilovers. It's fully polybushed. Yeah. It's got H&R anti-roll bars. So, yeah. so all, all the work doesn't stop underneath the car yeah. as well then, basically. <laughs> and then um, one final thing, exhaust. I know exhaust stand on this car is, well, it's a big thing, isn't it? Big yeah. talking point. What, what kind of system have you got on it? It's a full custom build by Rushworth. Oh, nice. So I suppose, yeah, naturally yeah. it would have to be redone. Um, Headers and everything or literally just? Yeah, literally downpipe. And everything yeah wow all, all the way through the, the only Very thing cool. kept from the original system was the tips that yes was it. <laughs> yeah yeah but you don't really want to change those they're pretty cool anyway um but yeah no mate i'm really really excited to experience another turboed r32 um naturally this one being a dsg is going to be probably a bit quicker off the line um, yeah but yeah we'll uh we'll hop in if that's everything get it started up and, and go for a drive let's go That was like what half throttle? Yeah, yeah, just over half. Yeah, it just, it just yeah, the speed just comes up so quick. It's... Yeah. Oh. That's rapid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Being in DSG as well, it literally just... Just flicks gear and yeah. just carries on. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just like having yeah. one long gear. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> it. But inside the car though, obviously, done a few bits in here. Yeah. Recaro bucket seats. Yeah, Recaro CS, yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. pretty comfy, isn't Yeah, it? they really are. You spend all day in them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you will be later. <laughs> um, yeah, nice few carbon bits here and there, yeah. nice gauges and things. Yeah, a few in the boost gauge, air uh, fuel. Yeah. I've also got the P3 gauge in the yeah. vent. Yeah, so, uh, just to keep an eye on everything. Yeah. But I suppose like what we're saying, this car has so much potential with this setup because of the forged engine, the turbo, yeah. everything like that, which yeah. is interesting, maybe quite <laughs> tempting. It <laughs> really is, yeah. <laughs> as well it's just <laughs> it's subtle but it's there yeah you know it's there one thing we didn't mention as well is the jc club sport rear seat delete yep obviously <laughs> i've recently got one pretty much exactly the same as that in my a45s but just yellow um yeah pretty cool to see that and you've got a sound system in here and everything as well it's it's a nice build it's yeah. a really nice build yeah i've got all the interior retrimmed oh as yeah, well. the so, yeah yeah a lot of work's gone into it yeah yeah, it's a, it's a passion. Yeah. It's been, been a long build. Yeah, <laughs> slash addiction. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what was it like when it was just non-turbo? Did you do much to it then? Was it? Um, that had pretty much done everything right. So done all the big mm -hmm. brake kit. Yeah. Pretty much had everything done ready. Yeah. Even oh, even wow. The lightweight wheels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, um... yeah. <laughs> There's no lag at all. A big unit, you'd expect maybe a little bit of spool, <laughs> a bit of lag. Yeah, it's just the, the power's there, it it's just, just drops there. down, and yeah, you're in boost. Ready to so, go, uh, and like, look at here, it's spooling up. Obviously, it's a car you've had for ages. You've done loads to it. I'm tempted, but I'll probably leave it a couple of years. Yeah. Probably go to the DQ 500 standalone yeah. manage engine management. So enjoy it right now. Yeah, that's the plan. Make the most of it for a couple of years and then go to the next stage. Yeah. Fair play. <laughs> Fair play. No, I don't blame you because you don't want to like do an upgrade like this and then upgrade it straight away. You want to do it, enjoy, enjoy it, it, definitely. Then go to the next stage. Is it? Car you use every day, or is it just a bit of a, uh, a toy weekend car? Yeah, yeah, mainly, yeah. So. That's a pretty good weekend car. <laughs> yeah. oh, it does. It just wants to go. time coming because we have been chatting yeah we've been chatting a while and yeah i mean you're over for a couple of shows each year which yeah. is nice um and yeah luckily we've made it happen so yeah maybe in a few years once you've gone the next stage we'll we'll meet up again and yeah. get back on the channel but, yeah definitely um if you want to learn more about carl's build then by all means you can find his instagram down in the description down below but for me today that is it i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come